अगर आप पाकिस्तान के साथ शांति का समझौता करेंगे तो नए प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्या करेंगे अभी आपका इस चुनाव को लड़ना इसकी चुनाव का बयान राहुल लीक करेगा मैं रिजाइन करना चाहता हूँ एक के बाद दूसरा कोरप्शन स्कैंडल इस माहौल में राहुल कैसे टेक ओवर कर सकता है प्रत्यक्ष नहीं होता है पर निरंतर यहाँ युद्ध चल रहा है महासंग्राम और उसमें विजय होने के लिए कोई नियम नहीं है केवल विजय महत्वपूर्ण है और उसके लिए यदि किसी को पशु बनना पड़े तो बन जाएगा के पास तुम्हारे अतिरिक्त कोई विकल्प नहीं हमारे बच्चे के लिए इतना कर सकते हैं कि उन्हें अच्छे वैल्यूज दे अच्छे इंसान बनाए उसके बाद यू हैव टू लेट गो Hi everyone. I'm Varta Sharma, editor News Band, daily English newspaper of Navi Mumbai. Today we have with us Susan Burnett, a German-born Indian actress who has enthralled the audiences both on small screen and big screen with her powerful acting. We have seen her in Kasauti Zindagi Ki, Ye Rishta Kya Kehlata Hai, and also as Queen Helena in Chakravarti Ashoka Samrat, among many others. She has also portrayed as uh, Sonia Gandhi in television series 
seven hours they are, and also accidental prime minister. Welcome, Suzanne. Hi, thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Yes, Suzanne, first of all, we would like to know a little bit about yourself. And also, when did you feel that you have to take up acting as your career? Okay, uh, my parents told me that from a small age, from the age of four, I was saying I want to be an actor. I mm -hmm. want to be an actress. So they were telling me that I was making them sit down and I was doing puppet theater and I was dressing up and I was like, they were like my captive audience, literally captive because they couldn't leave. <laughs> so they told me that from childhood onwards, uh, that is the only thing I wanted to do and wanted to be and that never changed. So even if I was veering off here and there and was doing other things like studying languages, I was always uh, pursuing this uh, in my heart. So that was one thing. And the other thing is that uh, how I came here. You wanted to know? Yeah, I want, you would like to know, uh, is there any formal training that you had in uh, acting? Yes, I had formal training. I uh, had auditioned at a young age in all these uh, universities in Germany at the age of 15, 16. And they told me, come back when you're 18. But by the time I came around to study acting, I, want, I met this fantastic woman, my acting guru, uh, because she taught me so much more than just the acting. So I think it's uh, fair to call her a guru because she taught me so many things. Her name is Heide Lotte Deal, and she is uh, a uh, renowned theater artist. She has done, I don't know how many hundreds of plays in Germany and some TV, some movies. And uh, so I learned a lot from her. She was very, uh, very like the actor I am today and the acting I'm doing. That is all what she gave me on the way. And uh, what brought you to India and uh, how difficult was it to adapt to completely new surroundings, language, tradition, custom? Okay, this was a chance encounter. I was on holiday in Dubai and, and uh, what happened is that I um, was in an internet coffee shop and I was uh, scrolling through the net and I saw that somebody was looking for an actress for a crossover movie, Bollywood, Dubai. They wanted to shoot the whole thing in Dubai. I met the director. I auditioned for the part of the best friend. And then he rewrote the script and made it into an international love story and gave me the lead opposite an Indian guy. And that has just released this year on uh, OTT platforms, by the way, on Amazon. And it's called Destined Hearts. So through this guy, I came into this whole circle of Indians and Indian actors and Indian production controllers and people because there is this whole back and forth between uh, Dubai and uh, India. And what happened is that I befriended uh, Raj Putran. He's a production controller. And he introduced me to Ajay Sinha, who was the uh, director of Astitva Ikrim Kahani. And I did a small part in a movie he shot in Dubai. And after that, he invited me, come to India, see how it is. So I was staying with his family, with his lovely wife and with his son, who's now also in this line. And uh, so we became friends. And I was on the set of Astitva Ikrim Kahani. And I was very impressed by everything and very keen on, you know, soaking it all up before I went back to Germany. And by the time I reached back, I think I was here in September, I was back in December and he called me and said, do you want to be part of Astitva? I said, you're joking. He said, no, 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 I'm not joking. There is this track coming up. We're shooting in England. I don't want to like audition people. I know you, you fit into this. So do you want the part? I'm like, what question is this? Of course I want this part. So this is how I started. And um, there is no looking back now. And how about the languages? I mean, you are master of uh, so many languages. How to do it? Okay, language master is, yeah, this is a little uh, misleading on my Wikipedia page. I had one interview in 2006 or seven, and one journalist misquoted me uh, in his enthusiasm. So what happened is that I said, I studied these languages, but if you don't practice the language, it tends to get rusty. So I have the, uh, I studied English and French and Spanish and Italian, but my French, Spanish, Italian, I haven't used in such a long time that when I hear it, I know what's going on, but I can't interact anymore because 
I haven't used it in so many years. Yeah, if you don't use a language, yeah. it just goes for. But you can you can resurrect it. Like if I would put my mind to it, I had to audition for a Rohan Sippy um, OTT platform web series, and they gave me the audition and said, "Can you do it in French?" So I did it in French. Then do it in German. Then I did it in German. Then do it in Hindi. Then I did it in Hindi and do it in English. So they had it in four variations. I still didn't get the part. So, <laughs> <laughs> this happens. But languages, yes. languages is a is a, a good thing. I would say anybody who wants to aspire to come to India and act in in Indian uh, television or something, then you should know the basics of Hindi. It will make your life easier. Yes, and you have acted in both the uh, small screen and big screen. So, which medium do you enjoy the most? Oh, they're both addictive. Um, a movie, you get more time, and time is such a luxury because time on TV in TV shows you don't have time. There is no way that you have the time to do anything, and there's always the telecast issue. There's always like in a show. We were shooting around the clock in the beginning. We were literally shooting around the clock. I think I got four or five hours of sleep. And that was for everybody. There were three teams and three cameras and three directors, but only one set of actors. So we were circulating around, and uh, that's a different kind of an addiction because TV becomes very intense. You completely get lost in it. The first three four months when I came back to Mumbai, I was like, "Me kaha ho? Kya ho raha? Oh, malls hai? Yeah, logon bhi hai." Because we were shooting in Karjat. And you're so cut off. There is nothing except that these moments. You know, it gets very, um, yeah. As I said, intense. It gets very family-like. You bond with your co-actors because you're constantly together. You're working all the scenes with them. So that is one thing. And then in a movie, you have the luxury of doing workshops and doing, you know, work on the character. You have more time. You don't shoot uh, six, seven, eight scenes in a day. You shoot one scene in a day. So you can do rehearsals before and the, and the camera movement is there and the, the director wants a certain shot. I just shot my first Malayalam movie and there was a shot that the director wanted and it meant that the camera had to be mounted outside of a car because they wanted a certain reflection. I think he fiddled around with the camera for one and a half hours, putting it in just the right spot, and he kept on saying sorry to me. And I actually love that whole process. I'm also into the whole technical part of it. I love the whole technical thing as well. I love to sit behind the camera and look at the monitor and see how people are setting up their shots. And so both of it is very, very enjoyable for totally different reasons. And. Uh... Which, in your opinion, has been the most toughest and challenging role, and how did you manage to succeed in that? Helena, because of the language. Oh. <laughs> I think that was the, that that was definitely Helena for the language because uh, that was such a such a Sanskritized Hindi that it was words that I never heard of before. Uh, I knew Uskabad, mm -hmm. but I didn't know Uskapachat. I didn't know Shayantra. I didn't know, uh, you know, all these, ye shab kaise istamal kar rahe hain. You know, the, these were the words that um, I have to thank my husband for being behind Helena for the two years we did it because he basically uh, stopped all his work and concentrated on just helping. So he stopped all his work and he was constantly uh, behind me and writing. First of all, the script comes garam. Means it is just coming in the morning while you're getting ready, so that's when the script comes on the set. Any show, I have never seen it any other way. And then you have, then he was sitting and writing it down in a way that I would know if it is a t or if it is a t or if it is a d or whatever you know. But if it is a t, he was underlining the word like the d. In the writing, because I was, uh, and I'm still reading more in Roman than I do in Devanagari, and so he was uh, doing all this, and then he was explaining me word the words that were new, and then he was recording the whole thing on WhatsApp and sending it to me, so I could listen to it while going on the set trying to read it and memorize it. 
so he was the <laughs> driving force behind it and he didn't get paid <laughs> just by just with chumis so yeah it's always very difficult to portray a political figure how difficult and challenging was it to portray sonia gandhi and uh, how did you prepare yourself for the role i think it is more like that any living person that you're portraying you want to be uh, as natural and as normal as possible you don't want it to become a caricature so i was trying uh, very hard to make it into a very natural portrait and i had a file from my director and from the team where they were giving guidelines and saying you know this is the look that we're going for and this is the videos we would like you to watch so i was going through these videos and i was looking at the videos uh, that they gave me and i have this uh, internal process where i'm just watching it again and again and again and then starts playing in my mind and then i take the script and then i try to just feel it from the inside you know not trying to put a mannerism on top of it but just soaking it soaking the persona up seeing the little small details and just thinking about them and then they they were coming in the scenes like the way she's looking using her eyes and sometimes when she gets irritated her mouth twitches and she has this habit of looking at the watch like this so these kinds of little things you observe you absorb and then when you're playing they uh, hopefully come out so <laughs> that is what i was trying to do did you get the opportunity to meet her No. No. You would love to meet. No. Ah, uh, yeah. I think a lot of people were very shocked in Delhi because uh, we were shooting in the Imperial Hotel, and I had actual bodyguards to take care of me. And then it was looking very official when I was moving up and down the corridors, <laughs> going from my hotel room to the set and shooting there. So it was quite an experience to walk in those shoes. Yeah, because people were literally gasping or taking a step back. So, thinking it's the yeah, thinking it's the yeah, could have been the real one because the get up was just <laughs> they did such a good job. Any memorable incident of the movie that you would like to share? Um, one is this: what I just told you that people were basically gasping, and we were shooting, we were reshoot, we were enacting the uh, Hindustan summit of two thousand fourteen with Veer Sangvi. and there was a whole ballroom full of people uh who were playing the audience at that time and uh, the moment i entered with my bodyguards everybody had chatted before i came in boom drop dead silence there were must have been 150 200 people and i remember how it felt walking from the door and passing all these people and feeling the eyes on you you know like oh wow <laughs> that is quite something <laughs> so that was one and the other one was in england because this is the way i look so i was happily bopping into the makeup room we were shooting in this castle what was really beautiful and i used to come like this in the morning have my breakfast disappear get ready come on the set shoot then go back change and come out and one guy asked me from the foreign crew we because shooting in the uk so he was uh, like me <laughs> british guy and he was saying um what do you do i i see you coming every morning and disappearing in the evening but i never see you uh, during the day i said i'm acting in this movie and he's like really and other people who knew who i am or what i'm doing they looked at him like he's nuts <laughs> and i had fun because i was like yeah i'm acting in this movie and he's like okay uh, but what character are you doing Yeah I'm the one in front of the camera I'm playing Sonia Gandhi and he's like <laughs> he literally he literally had to like what so there's a lot you can do with makeup and uh, wigs and acting yeah basically I think people must have had the same reaction seeing Meryl Streep as Margaret Thatcher you know because that was also such a jaw dropping transformation yeah and you are in trained ballet dancer and also an accomplished lavani dancer in fact we have seen you your lavani dance numbers in some of the marathi movies can you mm. share experience on that 
Uh, that was a uh, launi that was tailor made for me because what happened is in 2000 wait a second 7 nagesh bosle from us i who i knew from astitra he called me and he said say yes i'm like nagesh why he just just say yes i was like okay i say yes okay you in my movie i'm like what and you're performing launi and i looked at akhil i was like akhil what is launi He said, like, "I don't know. I'm from UP. <laughs> so we had no clue, and I had no clue what I got into. But they gave me the training, and I had rehearsals, and they took some of my ballet mannerisms, my arm movements, and they incorporated it into the launi. So it is more a fusion launi than a real launi. And then later, when I did Dholki Chattalavar, the reality show that was pure launi, and I was a lot tougher." So this one was fun, and we were shooting uh, towards Pune after uh, somewhere near Satara, and we were shooting the in in a uh, actual village that I don't know the name of, and we had an actual audience. So the people you see in the audience while I perform Launi, they are not actors, they are not extras. They are the people from the village who came to support us, and we shot the song in one night. We started around. Ten or eleven in the night, and we wrapped up at three, four in the morning. And later, I got to know that that is a special thing. So I was like, okay, good. <laughs> you have also worked in many regional movies. How challenging is that? Again, you have to adapt to new culture, customs, and also language. Oh, it's lovely. I love doing regional movies because they are. Um, Yeah, it is like you in India, but you are getting a different flavor. You're getting a different dish. You're getting a different food, so so to speak. And uh, shall I be a uh, Bengali, Marathi, or even now Malayalam? Uh, all these movies are very special and uh, very near and dear to my heart. So uh, regional, I'm open. Anybody listening to this? <laughs> I haven't done yet Punjabi. I haven't yet done. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind doing more. And uh, you love it. Yeah, I I definitely love it because it's a different kind of uh, it, it's it has a different flavor. Like I said, a different flavor. You, along with Govinda, are also a part of Narmada Seva Yatra, which is the campaign by the government of Madhya Pradesh. Can you please tell us about this? Um, that is a campaign to save the river Narmada. and uh, they have made a project where they are cleaning and they silting and planting trees i mean there were like so many trees it was gorgeous when we were driving there and uh, they're trying to educate the people uh, especially about cremations near the water and how it can adversely affect the environment and uh, not to say not to do this but to do it in such a way that it will not disturb the ecosystem because we are more people now when it used to be normal to do this i think that was like hundreds of years ago and now we are living in an environment where there are like all these factories and everything so at that time i that, this is what i was told that they are trying to uh, minimize it or that people don't do this practice that much anymore and, and i think it hmm? what is your role in this campaign i was just I was just there one time with Govinda to, um, I think, allure people to come <laughs> and listen to the speeches and listen to the gyan and uh, learn about this. They always try uh, to get known faces in any kind of campaign that have to do with the environment or social causes. They always try to get uh, some celebrity to come and to make it a little bit more glammy, glossy. So my role was uh, to smile yeah. and to yeah smile more and wave at people and just be be happy to be there. So, ah, uh, if given a chance, ah, uh, who would who would you like to do movie in Bollywood? Uh, as a director or as, as a, a as an actor? I mean, opposite uh, casting, opposite your role. Which Bollywood actor? Oh, I've always been saying I always wanted to be opposite Rajni Khan. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have a crush on that guy. So yeah, I think that 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 would be uh, quite fun. Any any uh, buddy who comes and you work with, everybody is always so great to work with. Uh, I worked with Amir Khan and I worked with uh, 
such big actors Bharish Rawal is a darling to work with and uh, Renuka Shahane is fantastic to work with and now Anupam Kher I mean you you name it these people are sorted and they know what they're doing and it's fun to work with them what are your current assignments what are you working on <laughs> because of lockdown everything is locked down so i was able between one lockdown and this lockdown i was able to squeeze in this one malayalam movie and one short film and one talk show in ahmedabad uske alawa kuch nahi ho raha hai pata nahi hai kya hone wala hai because i was supposed to shoot is mahine mein ek web series aane wale the i was supposed to book my date but now i don't know they're not in touch and i don't understand what's going on i also gave an audition uh for a big bollywood movie and they were supposed to start shooting on 15th in hyderabad lekin waha to be locked down here so i don't know what's happening with projects i think everybody is hawa hawa in there because we, we nobody can plan anymore yeah there must be some delay but it will come and hopefully it will take off very soon yeah I, one is always hopeful and you never know where things are coming from when they came for this malayalam movie i was like where is this suddenly coming from you know <laughs> that was my first trip to kochi to kerala if you can believe it i've been here for 15 years and that was my first trip south except uh, hyderabad and i don't even know if that's officially counting as south south so it was gorgeous kerala was amazing amazing people amazing food amazing movie everything was fantastic so uh, every time i think i've done such great work here i get another pearl you know somebody comes and gives me another pearl something great to perform and that i also have such a transformation you will not recognize me that's uh, we are looking forward to and uh, thank you so much susan for giving us your time and we wish you all the best for your future at you thank you thank you thank you so much for having me it was a pleasure talking to you and i wish your readers and your watchers and everybody who's associated uh, all the best and uh, stay safe and stay blessed yes viewers stay safe stay healthy thank you